Oh hey, today I want to talk about that time I almost quit writing. It was yesterday. And the day before that, and the day before, and sometimes it even happens a few times a day. Because this being a writer thing, it's tough. And more often than not, I've got these thoughts running through my head telling me that it's too tough, that I'm not strong enough, and that I'm not good enough. But those are what are called limiting beliefs. And Chandler Bolt talks about them in his book. And we're going to be talking about them today. Allison here, and besides being a creative warrior that helps you fight for your creativity, I'm also an author. And I'm on my very own publishing journey as we speak. I currently have two books of flash fiction available on Amazon but I am working hard to publish my first novel, The Lost Girl, A Neverland Story, by the end of the year. To make sure that I'm set up for success, I am following the strategies and principles laid out in the book, Published. The proven path from blank page to 10,000 copies sold, because I wanna sell 10,000 copies of my book. Uh-huh. I'm going to go through Chandler Bolt's book chapter by chapter and document my process and how the principles and strategies in the book work for me. And hopefully by the time I'm ready to publish, I'll be set up to be a bestseller. If you want to follow along on this journey, make sure to subscribe. Also comment below and tell me where you are on your publishing journey and let's do this together. Deciding you want to be a writer or you are a writer is a great first step on your author journey. But making this decision doesn't automatically mean you're going to be super confident or magically feel like a writer or even start writing. You're going to hit walls and obstacles, some even of your own making. Whether you're just starting out in your writing and publishing journey or you've been in it for years and years and years. If you want to be an author, you have to have an author mindset. And this means recognizing and addressing some of the limiting beliefs that can get in the way. Limiting belief number one, I don't have an idea. That is limiting belief that Chandler mentions, but I'm going to counteract that with my own and say, also, my idea is taken. Let's unpack that. Some of you might feel like you are meant to tell a story or write a book. You just don't know what that story is yet. And so you're using that as a limiting belief to stop the process dead in its tracks. But if you don't have an idea yet, that's okay. One, Chandler talks through some strategies on how to find an idea in his book. Two, I have videos on this channel about how to brainstorm ideas and use prompts to get writing when you're feeling stuck. Three, you definitely have something to say that the world needs to hear. You just have to know how to uncover it. And as for that second part, my idea is already taken. Newsflash, all the ideas are taken. Kind of kidding and kind of not. There really are no 100% unique ideas out there. What is unique is going to be your take on an idea. I am writing about Neverland. A lot of people write about Neverland. And yes, I get a little nervous when I'm doing research and I see just how many different Peter Pan or Peter Pan or Neverland stories there are out there. I start to think maybe I shouldn't even bother writing this book, but it makes me feel a little bit better when I start to realize that out of all the retellings out there, there are still none exactly like mine. No one else has your experiences, your struggles, your feelings, and your memories. And all of those things are going to feed your story. So do it anyway. Tell your story anyway. Our next limiting belief, I don't have an agent or a book deal and I won't be able to get one. We won't spend too much time here because we've already discussed in a previous video, all the ways that there are to publish your book, but I will just say it again because it's really, really important. There is no longer only one way to publish a book. 
You don't need an agent or to be published through a big publishing company to get your book out there. You just need a finished book, a little know-how, and a lot of discipline. Chandler's book can help with all those. This channel can help with those things. Our next limiting belief, who am I to write this book or tell this story? That is imposter syndrome and it affects us all at one point or another. Chandler has some ideas on how to face this and overcome it. And I have a video on this very topic. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail here, but I am going to give a little tip. Rename imposter syndrome. Call it imposter tendencies. Hear me out. When you change the name, you change the way you think about it and you change how much power it has over you. So instead of owning it and saying, I have imposter syndrome and acting like it's a syndrome, it's an illness, ugh, say, I have the tendency to feel like an imposter. A little less threatening, huh? It's not this syndrome, it's not something you have or own or that impacts you all the time. You just have the tendency to feel like that once in a while. You're not an imposter. You just feel like it sometimes and that's okay. So check out the video in the description below if you want a little bit more details on changing the name of imposter syndrome. Let's spread the word and make it happen. Our next limiting belief, I don't have time to write a book. I'll keep this short. You do. <laughs> we think that if we don't have hours a day to set aside to dedicate to the process of writing a book, then it's a wash. We can't do it. It's not going to happen. But books can be written in 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day. Don't let the idea that you don't have all this extra time available at once stop you from writing a book. Keep a notebook with you. Keep a note app open on your phone. Write down your ideas when you're standing in line, when you're at a kid's practice, when you're sitting in car line, all these unexpected breaks in time where you might be scrolling social media, use those to write your book. Now my very own limiting belief that I'm adding to Chandler's list and that I struggle with, I'm just self-published. I used to add this little caveat when I talked about being published because even once you're published, the limiting beliefs don't stop. I have to catch myself all the time saying I'm just self-published, like I'm diminishing the accomplishment of having written and completed work and being brave enough to get it out into the world. And that's pretty great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Instead, I've started saying, I am a published author with two books available on Amazon. Who cares how they're published? You. Most people? No. If your book sounds good and you tell them where they can find it, that's all they care about. So change how you talk about yourself and your writing. Don't diminish your accomplishments. So if any of these limiting beliefs sound familiar or you have some of your own, one, put them in the comments and let's talk about them. Two, let's talk about how to turn them around and overcome them. So I mentioned, instead of saying I'm just self-published, I'm saying I am a published author. And Chandler talks about changing the way you phrase some of these limiting beliefs to help overcome them as well. So instead of saying, I don't have time to write a book, you would say, I'm going to make the time to write a book. Or I don't have an idea to write a book becomes, I have a ton of experiences that would make a great book idea. I just have to find one. You get the idea. Practice taking your limiting beliefs and turning them around, rephrasing them in a way that makes you feel more confident. You can find more information on this in Chandler's book. And if you need a little extra help overcoming some of these beliefs or just reframing your mindset, check out my creativity meditation at the end of this video. And if you found this content helpful, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Now go fight for your creativity.